Hi, I'm the Smoking Elk, and today we are doing hot and fast brisket on the Master Built 560. Got this beautiful point of brisket. It's about four, four and a half kilos from Philip Warren Butchers. I cook these regularly. I have cooked a few hot and fast. It is my preferred method. So we're gonna try hot and fast in the Master Built 560. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give this a little bit of a trim. Um, doesn't need too much, just the obvious, um, just turn this around, just the obvious, you've got this really thick bit of fat here, so we're just going to trim away a fair bit of that. You don't have to be too aggressive when trimming these briskets, um, you do want to keep a nice fat cap on there, I just like to take it down to about a quarter of an inch maybe, so we're just going to go ahead, finish trimming this fat to about a quarter of an inch, then we'll flip and we'll see if we need to do the same on the other side. Like all things, you can overcomplicate it or you can just keep it nice and simple. Leave a bit of fat on there, it doesn't really matter. We're not uh, entering this brisket into any competitions. We're entering it into our gobs to eat. So don't go too nuts, keep it simple. Trim what you think's best. It's gonna taste good, whatever. On the underside, you'll see that we don't need to do any trimming on this part. This is nice, this is what we want. There's a little bit of excess fat here, so we're just gonna go ahead and just take a bit of that out. You can go into this part between the point and the flat, the decal, and cut out the huge chunks of fat in there. Uh, it can get messy, um, I've done it a few times. Uh, you end up carving away and carving away and carving away, and then you end up with a big flappy bit of point um, and flat, uh, and nothing connecting them, so you can overthink it, over, over trim it. Um, so we're just gonna leave that there. So we're, we're happy with that. Let's get some salt and pepper on. Let's get the master bit fired up and let's get smoking away. So for the rub, for the brisket, I like to keep it very, very simple. Just salt, just pepper. Um, you can use mustard as well. Um, I'd normally recommend kosher salt. I haven't got any at the minute, it's on its way. So I've got some molden salt um, that we're just gonna sprinkle over. And then we've got some crap black pepper, about equal amounts. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all over this brisket. Beef, especially brisket, loves pepper. So don't be shy with the pepper. If you think there's enough, chuck a little bit more on. And that really is all there is to it. How easy was that? That's taken, what, 10, 15 minutes to just trim it up, stick salt and pepper on there. This is ready to see some smoke. In here, we have a couple of chunks of cherry. The ash, the embers, the coals are gonna fall down on here and burn that. We've got a couple of chunks of post oak from Pro Smoke in the hopper. Um, so all we're gonna do, fire starter in there and just get that going. So we turn it on, we're gonna cook this at about 300 Fahrenheit, we're going hot and fast. So we're gonna set the temperature, 300 Fahrenheit, it's about 150 Celsius. So we're gonna set the temperature, 151, that'll do us. And the time, we're just gonna set to time elapsed. We don't need a timer on here. So that's set to time elapsed. And as soon as we shut this door, it should kick in. So on with the latch. And you can hear the fan kicking, which is going to bring this up to temperature. So I'm going to be using the meter block for this cook. Fantastic piece of kit. Uh, so this is going to monitor. We're going to use a couple of the probes just to monitor the brisket temperature in a couple of different positions. So we've got the apps opened up here, what we're going to do, we're going to get these probes into the meat and then set up the cook. So probe one towards the point end, probe two in the flat part. I know this is a point, but you do still get the flat on there as well. Um, and here's the meter app that we're going to set up. So probe one, no cook set up. So we're just going to go set up cook, beef, roast uh, and brisket. 
and we're gonna let that we let it go to 93 Celsius start cook and again probe 2 is going to be essentially the same cook so roast brisket start cook we've just hit 150c smoke is rolling the brisket is going in drip tray underneath brisket on the middle shelf lid down and we'll see you again in two hours so boys and girls we are at the two hour mark the meter let's see what the meter is telling us the meter is telling us we're at 168 in the flat and 129 in the point i'm going to believe the point temperature the flat and may not have it in the optimum position so we're just going to uh, we're going to go by the point um but i'm going to open it up we're two hours in we're going to open it up we're going to give it a spritz we're going to see how we're looking and go from there beautiful color we're getting from that cherry wood just starting to crust so what we're going to do now yeah see this needs repositioning a little bit but what we're going to do now is give it a spritz with nothing special just some h2no h2o some water give it a spritz we're going to pop the lid back down probably for about Ooh, another half hour maybe an hour and um, we we'll spritz it every 15 minutes and then we're probably going to wrap it crank the temperature up and finish her off we've been going exactly three hours <coughs> we've been spritzing this every 15 minutes for the last hour so from two hours onwards every 50 minutes just with water um, i did film a few of the times that i spritzed it and probably had a bit of a chat and then realized that my mic wasn't on so schoolboy error yes still making them but anyway this is how it's looking Beautiful colour from that cherry smoke. We're not going to get any more bark on here. We have used um, flaky sea salt, which hasn't quite adhered to the brisket. Um, not to worry. We're going to take this out, we're going to wrap, and we're going to uh, bang it back in until it's done. So here's the brisket. We're going to wrap. We're going to take these probes out and pop them back in once we've wrapped. The smell coming off this brisket, by the way. Um, this beef that I get from Philip Warren. This smells so creamy um, and beefy. Um, really, really good. So anyway, not much of a bark. We do sacrifice a bit of bark, cooking it hot and fast. And obviously, I've had to make do with the salt that I had, um, so it hasn't stuck to the brisket as much as I would like. Doesn't matter, still gonna taste good. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and wrap. And all we do is just bring two bits of butcher paper over like that. Fold it in like so, and again like so. I'm terrible at wrapping Christmas presents. I'm also terrible at wrapping brisket. So I'm sure you've got a better way than this, but this is how I'm going to do it. We're not putting any liquid in here. We're just wrapping it to keep the moisture and um, within. So like that, and just flip. Like so, and again, over. And to be honest, that do us. Like I said, I'm no good at wrapping presents, I'm no good at wrapping briskets, but as long as it's nice and sealed in there, we're gonna put the probes back in, and we're gonna put this back in until it's about 190, probably 195. I do find with British briskets you can take them over 200 um, to get them to where you want to be. We've wrapped the brisket, the pros are back in. We've cranked this up to about 175 Celsius, so about 350 Fahrenheit now. And that's how we're going to finish it off. So back in there, um, once we start reading about 195 Fahrenheit internal temperature, that's when we're going to unwrap, start testing it for tenderness. Um, let's see how we're getting on. But back in it goes until we're done. Four hours and 40 minutes, well, four and a half hours, because obviously we had to start up time. So four and a half hours into the cook, we're being told that the probe in the point is at 195, the probe in the flat is at 201. Um, so I'm gonna unwrap this now, and we are gonna start probing with the firmer pen for tenderness. We want it to probe like butter, we want no resistance. So let's see how we are getting on. So we're just gonna start probing here, um, and it's not quite, Ready yet? <clears throat> it's not probing like butter yet. 
we're not far off. We're going to put this back in, unwrapped, um, until we're done. But yeah, we're not quite there, but we're very close. The Fermi pen is saying 92 Celsius, which is about 190, 195. Uh, it's only 86 in a couple of places, so 88. So still a little way to go. So we're going to pop this back in, uncovered now, see if we can reset some of this bark, and then we'll be done. Back in we go until we're done. We are six hours and 10 minutes into the cook and we are done. Lovely color on there. Lovely bit of bark. It's not formed all over. It's not a big concern of mine. The flavor's there. The juiciness is there. Happy day. So I'm just gonna show you how it's probing, just so you know. So, take a firmer pen, just gonna show you how it probes. You can see how I'm holding it. I'm not gonna put any pressure on it. And if it slips in like that, and oh, hit a bit of bark there. If it slips in like that, it goes all the way through, which it's doing, it is done. Just to give you an idea of the temperature, 99 degrees, but that is going all the way through with no resistance. So we're happy with that. We're gonna take this off, we're gonna rest it. We're gonna rest for about an hour. You can wrap it and rest it, put it in a cool box and I've had these hold for six, seven hours and not um, and still be nice and hot when we served it up. Um, I'm gonna rest this one for an hour, then we're gonna slice in and we're gonna see exactly how we've done. And there is our six hour hot and fast brisket, cooked on the master bit 560 with post oak and cherry wood. So that is hot and fast brisket, cooked in six hours on the master bit 560. We've used cherry wood and post oak smell is incredible i mean six hours for brisket um you cannot complain at that we're going to slice in i'm going to show you how good it is i'm hoping it's good it's, it's probing like it's good it's smelling like it's good it's tender and wobbly like it's good um but you never quite know until you crack on and you slice in and take that first slice uh, it's like opening up a christmas present so like i said six hours on the master 560 the meter block taking care of temperature Let's slice in, let's have a taste and see exactly how we've done. We're just gonna go ahead and slice right through the middle of that point, through the bark. And I think we've done good. Nice and juicy, tender. We're happy with that. Nice smoke ring along here, as you can see there. If you can see in this light, it is uh, 11 o'clock at night and I'm doing this video for you because the things I do for you and for brisket. But that is looking beautiful. I'll show you again there. Lovely smoke ring, nice and juicy, nice and soft. You can see how soft it is. I mean, you can see how juicy that point is. I'm not going to squeeze it too much because we don't want to squeeze the juice out, but just look at it running along here. It smells incredible. So if you can cook brisket like that in six hours, then I don't see the point in a 15 hour overnight cook. I think British brisket works best for hot and fast. So let's take a slice and let's dig in. Holds its weight. Does it pull apart easily? Yes, it does. One more slice. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. We've done fantastic there, guys. There's your slice, there's your bend test. Does it hold under its own weight? 
Yes, it does. Does it pull away easily? Yes, it does. Beautiful. So, let's go in and have a taste. Epic. I mean, if you can cook brisket this good in six hours, why well, spend 15 hours losing sleep? Just do it in six hours, hot and fast. It's the way to go. You can see how, you can see the results for yourself. How juicy this is. You can see the smoke ring. You can see the bark. You can't taste it. I can. And I'm telling you, this is epic. The master has done a fantastic job. It's held steady on exactly the same on, on exactly the temperature that I set it at. Winner, winner, brisket dinner. That's me done. I've been a smoking elk. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Happy days.